In this episode of Neil's Stock in the News, we're going to talk about ET7 production, Neil's battery swap station expansion. Also, Neil opened a new service center. If this video gets 2,000 likes, I'll make this a regular series going forward. As of September 20th, Neil has successfully deployed its swap stations along the G1 Beijing to Harbin Expressway. The G1 Beijing to Harbin Expressway is 1,229 kilometers and there will be 10 power swap stations along the expressway, one for every 120 kilometers. In addition, they are located at high speed service areas or high speed entrances. So that is also where you can get off the car and also take a break, enjoy a meal, rest. The G1 highway connects from Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei and other several key cities in northeastern province and it is very very important since this is the one of the most important highways in China. Beijing is the starting point and it goes across Tianjiafu service area which is also the exit ramp for the Universal Studios place which just opened recently. Along the G1 highway, Qinghuangdao is one of the famous coastal tourism resort cities. There's also Beidahe and also the Gold Coast so people come here to enjoy a sensory experience with romantic feelings of sunrise and sunset. This is one of the earliest highways built in China. Having been open for 20 years, it is a fast passageway for three northeastern provinces and an important transportation artery connecting northern China. So when new owners travel there by car, they don't need to stop to charge. They can just swap and go, swap and go. Next up. This is the third year anniversary of Neo's service and Neo has opened up one of the largest service centers here in Beijing along with excellent partners to help build up this service center. It is three kilometers from the bird's nest where the Olympics were held. The service center is called the Beijing Datun Service Center. The service station will include a total of 20 maintenance stations operating projects including mechanical, electrical sheet metal spray maintenance, car wash, film and other services and it will also operate as a new space where prospective customers can come in and check out the vehicles. This brings Neo's total service center count to 43 service centers operated by Neo and 177 co-owned service centers. So these 177 service centers have outside investment from other companies or other groups to help Neo build these service centers and also operate these service centers. Neo has just officially deployed the 483rd battery swap station just a few days ago in the city of Ningbo. Here is what that looks like. They are very close to achieving their target of 500 battery swap stations by the end of this year and they are looking to surpass it. Probably they'll be at 600 or 700. As of recording, there are a total of 483 battery swap stations, 341 supercharging stations, NEO's power charging stations, consisting of a total of 2,176 NEO superchargers. And NEO also has 515 destination chargers, which totals to 2,878 destination chargers. On top of that, there are 400,000 third-party chargers that NEO has partnered up with. Next, in the hottest news of the day, the ET7 trial production run is underway and the first ET7s have rolled off the production line. Now, this first batch of ET7 is a trial production. They've assembled these vehicles at NEO's advanced manufacturing base in Jianghua, Hefei. So this marks a important milestone and the maturity of ET7's production verification and production line. This also means that the ET7 is ready for mass production it is a step further from pre-production and mass production. So ET7 is ready to go. I have some more information on this. Trial production run is called the TT tooling trial and that refers to testing out proprietary equipment, the tooling, the robots, making sure everything is working well, the scanning and traceability, testing the software and also the inspection system as well as product verification and training for the line staff. So they are very, very close to mass production. The objective is to validate the process documentation for the mass production, train the line operators, and most importantly, verify the manufacturing capability of the factory. During this phase, the off-line vehicles will continue with a series of full vehicle and performance tests. 
So these ET7s are ready to go. They are pretty much going to be shipped to major NEO houses. You know, there's one in Shanghai, but there's none in Beijing yet, but they'll have it soon. I'm guessing that these vehicles will be there in Beijing for people to check out. And this really means that the factory is all good to go. The robots work, right? The, the, the staff are being trained. And so far there have, haven't been any hiccups, even though this is a very, very early pre-production the future is looking bright for the ET7. Once again, I'm Mr. P. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next episode of New Stock in the News.